We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving in and we're checking out the early access of the Wandering Village. It is by Stray Fawn Studio and Whisper Games, releasing into Steam Early Access on September 14th, 2022. I am going to be doing a live stream and a giveaway of the game later today around 2 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys would like a chance to get your hands on a code for the game, a big shout out and a thank you to the developers, Stray Fawn Studio, for hooking me up with the code for this and for the giveaway. And yeah, we're going to do all that today on Twitch. It's going to be twitch.tv forward slash bumpy mcsquiggums gaming so if you guys again want a chance to win and you want to check out a little bit more of the gameplay i'll probably be streaming for an hour or two right around 2 p.m eastern so i suppose i'll see you all there but for now let's dive into the game and see what we're getting ourselves into all right we can start a new game novice adept and veteran novice the village elder shows you the ropes of how to take care of your settlement I'll probably do that now, and then maybe we'll do a harder difficulty as we dive in on the stream. Adept, you start in safe, familiar territory. Take care of your village as you slowly venture into more dangerous regions. And the reason I want to do novice is it seems like it's going to be kind of more of a tutorialized thing, so I kind of get to learn what I'm doing. That'd be great. And then finally, veteran, the world is a harsh and unforgiving place from the very beginning. Survive by any means necessary. All right. Uh, sure. Teach me. That's going to be the name of our end novice. Yeah. All right. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. What's up? All right, the wandering village. Tutorial, welcome. Hello, friend. I am the village elder and in charge of the good people here. Our people, the Naomens, sure, have traveled far and endured many hardships throughout the years. But now we have come across an Anbu, an ancient beast believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. Our encounter must have been faded. It has most likely been asleep in the ground for a very long time. Maybe it woke up because the toxins keep seeping further and further into the earth. Only time, and maybe this guy, will tell. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. I once read that Anbu draw their nutrients from the ground, so I wonder if it can sustain itself out here. It seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it is time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. To ease the transition, I could teach you a little of what I've learned. Tutor you even. A tutorial, so to say. What do you think? I think it's great. Oh, I think I'm going to pause too. Alright. Elder's Notebook. The tutorials that appear here will teach you everything you need to know, but if you ever want to double check something or read about it in greater detail, you can always consult the Elder's Notebook, open it with the the book button up here top right corner of the screen or with the G key on your keyboard open the elders notebook all right try to survive for as long as you can to do so you'll have to provide your villagers with shelter and food research new technologies and scavenge materials from all kinds of biomes also don't forget to take care of Anbu your gr your great gigantic companion if all your villagers or Anbu die it's game over well that's not good probably for me and or on boo all right what are we doing move your camera by uh clicking and dragging with your okay cool 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 we can also waz it up sure uh pause the game with the pause button base one two and three got it zoom in and out Enter oh, Anbu. Oh, enter the world map. Enter Anbu style. Oh, that's kind of cool. Housing gives many benefits to your villagers. Return to the village view and build tents for them by opening the menu. 
At the bottom of the screen, selecting Tent and placing a few of them on Anbu's back. Huh? What's that? No. This is the building. Alright, and then Tent. A few of them on Anbu's back, you say? I can do that. Oh, if I hold Shift, will let me do multiples? Yeah, it will. Alright, oh, six. I was going to be like, I'm going to overdo it with four. There you go. You guys all live literally side by side by side by side. There ain't no privacy up on Anbu. I'm just saying. Ain't no privacy. Alright. So the last one's being built. Y'all good? Alright. Some of your villagers are still homeless. To build more tents, have them gather wood by harvesting nearby trees. You can always check on your villagers' needs by clicking on the happiness indicator. Uh, top right corner up here, okay. Uh huh. Higher happiness leads to higher productivity. Harvest at least 10 wood, construct at least 8 tents. So this must be harvest. Is it H? It is H, okay. Interesting. Hold on. I don't know that I want to necessarily do that. Ooh, can, can I can I de-harvest something? Okay, I can de-harvest the berry bush. I always like to know what I can and cannot do. All right, that should be fine. But harvesting this will just actually have us gather food, so I don't think that's actually a bad thing. All right, and let's get a couple more tents down. And when you guys have enough resources, we will uh, do what we got to do. Are you going to just leave all that stuff on the ground where it lies, or are you going to... Oh, I, I got to get some more wood, huh? All right, harvest this. Go. Okay, we did it. We're heroes. Your village is going to need food. One sustainable way to get food is by constructing a berry gatherer near berry bushes. Uh-oh. Made a terrible mistake. It's fine. Um, the berry gatherer can be found in the food category in the buildings menu. So, that's probably not great that I did that. But if we take a look over here, there are a lot of burr bushes. As uh, Mutanot would have said back in the day when he was a teenager. What is this thing? Can, can we... Can, we can't rotate. Can I do something to this? It's a giant trunk. It can be mined. Okay. okay I want to plop this, like, just right there, but I can't. So I'm going to miss one burr bush. I guess that's fine. To construct the berry gatherer and future buildings, you might have to harvest more resources. Where we have multiple open tasks such as harvesting and constructing, it makes sense to prioritize certain tasks over others. You can do that by using the priority tool at the bottom of the screen, clicking and dragging over open tasks. Prioritize any tasks. Alright. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to have them harvest all these trees. And then... I'm going to set the highest priority to this. But they have to have stuff. All right, we also got to construct a farm. Uh, it looks like the farm just needs to kind of be in like um, maybe just like open grassland area. So I think it kind of works like pretty decently here, to be honest. I'm going to harvest this and this. Go, my minions, go. Do my bidding, yeah. All right. Your farm raised a flag to notify you that something is not working correctly. This is because it needs plots to plant its crops. Select the farm to add uh, plots. In the same window, you can adjust the number of workers to make the building more efficient. At least three farmers. Uno, dos, tres. Uh-huh. And uh, we want to add a plot. Let's see. Yeah, I think something like that's going to be fine. All 
Now I have to assume that these two aren't going to be so good, but we'll, we'll see. There we go. And it's fine. Alright, let's see how they uh, do construct at least two air wells. Planting crops requires water. Build air wells to automatically collect water. Air wells, huh? There's a water tank. Raw resources. Oh, there it is. Okay, air well. Hmm. I think the air wells are going to go out here on the... The less habitable deal there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of this and this and this and these. Alright, go. Go, minds to people. Harvest the things that I hath told thee to harvest. Rejoice and be glad in it. I feel like it's maybe a mistake to have everybody living up there now. But we shall see. Hey, there's people standing around not doing anything. What's going on here? Oh, you guys need more wood? Yes. Alright, well, let's get you to harvest um, some wood over here. I also think maybe it's a good idea to check out... Is he going to let me do it? I don't think he's going to let me do it. Let's see if he's going to let me do the raw resources, but it said no, sir. Alright, what about Anbu, man? Do we get to feed him? A mycologist, huh? He basically gets up there and starts spitting rhymes. A mycologist? No. Well, I mean, they're they're plotting some plots and planting some plants, and it's it's a thing. All right, are are we moving? No, he's just snoozing right now. So we just chilling up on on the back of a good old Ambu. Ambu is the best boy, after all. We all know this. Look at our people, they're so cool. Oh, that, this is really cool looking, by the way. I know I haven't really said too much about it, I'm just kind of enjoying the game as I go, but I really like the, just the, the different art styles that kind of come together, right? You have this, this top-down view that works incredibly well, and then you can zoom in, you get a, a perspective shift. You got these little cartoon-esque, you know, very animated characters with the kind of more painted background-esque feel of all the other things. It's just, it's really cool. I like this a lot. Uh, how, how are the air wells coming? Did you guess? Like, not finish harvesting? Or maybe you did. Maybe I'm just bad at telling you guys what I want you to do. Harvest trees more. That's right, all the trees. Uh, all right. So, see what what I need you guys to do now is build this. You make this like a super high pro. Oh, we need stone. Oh, okay. Well, that's my bad. Oh, oh god, what's happening? Oh, Ambu's waking up. Ambu's like, hey, uh, uh, we we done. We are not sitting around anymore. You had your chance. I am sorry, sir, but we are on the move now. Well, uh, is this the the very first mobile home? Eh? Eh? Might be. Kind of want to build a stockpile like for all my resources, but that, that's fine. All right, so this should be getting built now, and then we can move on to whatever's next. Efficiency depends on the current biome's humidity. You can check the current humidity in the humidity display. All resources are now producing, you are now producing will require some sort of storage. Excellent. Build a pantry to store food, a water tank to store water, and a material storage for various other resources. They can be found in the storage category of the building menu. All right. Storage. All right. Water storage should probably just go right here. It just makes sense. A pantry for food. I would not be opposed to putting that down, like, maybe right over here. And uh, I also think that we should probably, yeah, we should harvest some of this stuff. Is that a mushroom? I think that is. Alright. 
And then finally, material storage. I'd like to put that maybe here. We'll see. All right, folks, get your get your hustle on. Get moving. Anbu's already moving. He's doing his thing, so y'all need to do your thing, too. All right, how are we looking for overall food? Is there... Okay, we do have a indicator up top. We are going to need some more wood, it looks like. Uh-huh, uh-huh, all right. Oops, wrong button. All right. Get some more wood going here. I, I really want to get to the point where we can start harvesting giant things of wood because I think that's going to be very useful. 200 is, a, uh, I want to say, is a decent amount, but well, I suppose we'll see as we go. All right, so we got water storage. Hopefully water collection's not too slow. That seems to be okay. And then the pantry is over here being constructed. And we need more wood. Still? Still with... Okay, we, we do have the wood... Like, demarked here. So we'll see if they get their booties on down here and start chopping them. There we go. Excellent. Alright. The pantry's done. Now we need to construct a research building and a kitchen. To build more advanced buildings, like... A kitchen that prepares higher quality food, you'll have to research them first. Build a research building, which can be found in the... Village category building menu and kitchen either in the pop-up that appears when no research has been selected or in the research menu. All right. That just makes sense. All right. Research building is going to be... I think like right there. I think that's a good spot for it. Need to throw out some harvesty dealies here. How you doing, Anbu? Just kind of crew. Oh, you just. Oh, wait, wait. What's this? Nomads. Oh, that'll be interesting. Pretty cool. All right. Seems like everything's kind of coming together. All right. A kitchen or the horn blower? We're gonna go with the kitchen. Commit to that. It's gonna take us a couple days. Food details. Okay. It feels like our farmers, we don't have enough farmers to really get the job done. I'm going to add a couple more farmers here. Maybe we can get the plots going a little bit more. Or maybe... Nope, this seems fine. We're planting beet. It's hoggle plantation. I can't choose what uh, we're doing? Okay. Okay, you are often going to need workers for basic tasks like construction, or sorry, constructing buildings and uh, harvesting and transporting resources. Build a worker post to specialize employed workers, ensuring that you always have someone to carry out these basic tasks while also giving them a boost in efficiency. Worker post, okay. Worker post. I'll plop that down like right there. Can I harvest an on boost? Do I want to do that? That seems awfully harsh. Nope, nope, never mind. Cancel this. Don't do it. Stop it. It does remove uh, his trust. So if we needed stone, we could do it. Okay. Boy, at least two workers as carriers. All right. Since carriers only transport resources and don't build or harvest, it's probably best to set this worker post to general workers for now. Employ one more worker and switch your specialization back to general workers. Oh. Okay. All right. Roads can help you structure your village, yes, yes they can, and offer a movement speed bonus for workers traveling on them. 
construct at least 10 segments of a dirt road. Okay. Well, we're going to go right across our little town here. Go here, and then we're going to go right over to that. That's going to be the start of our, our town. Something like that. I like the idea of the farm having, like, extra stuff that it can do. I think we could probably do this. Could we... Could we do something? And resource stacks from the construction site. Can I get you guys to, to remove this thing? Do something with it? I'll set this to the highest priority. Get this stack of berries out of the way. Okay, more advanced buildings require more advanced materials to build. Yep, 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 makes sense. Also, something just flashed over here. Uh, construct a stone cutter and a carpenter to produce stone slabs of wood planks. They can be found in the refined resources category and decisions you have encountered a biome event that features decisions click on the flash, uh, flashing map icon on the right side of the screen to see what has happened and decide how to proceed sounds fine uh we'll do that in a second so carpenter makes wood planks from wood all right so uh, hold on here be mined from a sawmill I wanted to put this over here. I could, and the stone cutter. I could put that there, and then we can go back over here, and we could do a road. Okay, I think that's fine. I don't know what's going on here. Do I need to harvest this, or... What is this? It's just, we need a pile of stones out of the way, just like we need this out of our way. Okay, and... Okay, something like that. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go take a look here. You encounter a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join the you? Uh, yeah, no, sure. Come and join us, folks. The nomads joined your village. Plus three healthy people joined your village. Excellent. Do we get to see any kind of cool interaction where, like, we stop, swoop down, and pick them up or anything? No? But it looks like we have another uh, map event going to be happening here relatively soon. Okay, we finally moved that out of the way. This is a priority to get that out of the way. Stupid things out of our building. There we go. Foundations are going down. People are doing what they're supposed to do. Carpenter's about to be done. Uh, unless we're out of... Oh, we need more supplies. Okay. I mean, that was to be expected at some point. We knew we were going to run into a lack of um, resources at some point. Okay. So what's going on over here? Berry gatherer... Storage is full. Oh! Well, that is interesting. I suppose we could probably build another pantry. If we particularly wanted to, that would screw up the road, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, you know what? That's fine. We'll do it that way. Then that road can go right up next to him. 
pantry really close to where they're living. They seem to have enough resources to do this, which is great. All right, build a kitchen to provide your villagers with some refined food also while also making food production more efficient. The kitchens can be found in the food category. Yeah, that makes sense. Kitchen, all right. That is that is a large building. Hmm. particularly love how this is all panning out. I don't hate it either. Oh, choose our next research. The village doctor or the scavenger hut. Heals poisoned villagers using herbs. Sets work sets send out workers to scavenge rare resources and find new villagers. I think I want to go with that one. Alright, dirt road. Probably gonna go up like this. And then along here, we're probably gonna do one of these. And then what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna plop down another tent. I wanna see how this all goes. I think I probably still need to harvest more stuff. I'm hoping that our people can eventually get to doing that they are very I, I know I'm all overboard with the roads I, I'm aware this is this is a me problem here I definitely did this this is this is a thing that I did but let's hope they can figure it out well guys we need more wooden and other things yeah rocks yep those are good uh-huh harvest some trees you can have a mushroom if you wanted all this stuff guys and gals There's things everywhere to harvest There we go. We're definitely doing okay with the, the berries and whatnot. Right, what's going on over here? Carpenter, we have one. What is this? Missing resources. We don't have any wood. Yeah, I know. That's kind of a problem. We, we need to get moving on this thing right here. How you doing, buddy? Doing well. Okay. Oh, you're getting hungry, though. And is, are you getting sleepy? Yes. Oh, Anbu evacuated its bowels. It didn't show that, did it? I mean, for science, we need to know. I, I guess not. Good. Come on, boys. Get it done before we break off this first episode. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing a live stream today. That would be on September 14th, 2022, uh, you know, big celebration because the game's really soon to see early access on this day, and around 2 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv forward slash bumpy McSquiggums, I will be doing a live stream of The Wandering Village. We'll be starting fresh, probably on a harder difficulty level, and yeah, we'll just be having a good time, and I'll be giving away a code, so stick around, and uh, you may be the winner. We will see. Uh, I might even try to figure out how to work night Nightbot again. See how that goes. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Are we still just still just slack? Oh, because we need the wooden planks. Okay. I see. And the the stone slabs. Okay. Okay. It's all kind of coming together. It's all making a little bit of sense. A little too much sense, if you know what I mean. I, I mean, I'm not even sure what I mean. So, I don't know how you would. All right. Construct a kitchen. We're almost there. We're working on it. It's on our to-do list. We just need basically two more or four more. I think they do two at a time. Uh, chunks of wood and stone to be processed. Oh. Oh, Ambu sleepy. Ambu sleepy boy. He going nappy nap time. Oh, we finished the research really, really quick by comparison to what I was expecting. Used to issue commands to Anbu, which it may or may not follow, allows you to click the on crossroads world map to decide which way to go. I think we're going to go that route.
Okay, we just need one more batch of this and this, and we will be good to go. I'm going to throw one more worker on each of these. Probably should have done that earlier, but alas, here we are. And I think I'm going to probably do another material storage. Harvest this. Alright. Village and then the world map. That's cool. A lot quicker than having to like roll in and out, which I like. That's that's good. Alright, we're banging away at the kitchen. We'll have that done here in a minute. Makes berries, beets, and onboo blood into processed food. Don't don't make on blue on blue blood into food. That's not okay. All right, uh, research and build a village doctor, an herbalist. Uh, okay, to prepare your village against poisonous biomes, they can be found in the poison category in the building menu. Assigns plot assign plots to your herbalist. Research village doctor. Construct village doctor. Okay. Herbalist, huh? Hmm. I think we're just gonna actually. Hmm. You know what? Hold on. Go, go harvest this. I think I'm gonna put another berry thing over there. The berry harvester when we need it, and I'm gonna put this other thing down here. Come on, guys. Get to hustling. Number one priority. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, a really fun game. Very chill. Very, um, very well done. Just kind of stunning visuals, you know? And, and I love the meshing, like I said earlier. The meshing of the two different art styles. I think it's just fantastic. Really cool. I, I just, I don't know. Every once in a while, I just really crave games like this. And uh, this one has to be one of the more unique ones that I've seen. So I don't think there's really 100% something exactly like this, so to speak. All right, we are going to plop the herbalist down right here. Our berries are out of the way. And yeah. We should be good, but that's probably going to do it. I'm going to put it on normal, and we'll do our outro. That's probably going to do it for right now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed. It looks like I may have overvalued how big of a farm we were going to need uh, or how many plots that our farmers could work. I don't know if that's going to increase or decrease, if we're going to get better at it through research or what exactly, but it looks like I put a lot of farms down, and we used less than half of them. So, eh, we'll see. Either way, folks, the name of the game, once again, is The Wandering Village, releasing into Steam Early Access today, September 14th, 2022. And, yeah, really cool. I like it a lot. I can't wait to play more. I can't wait to do the live stream later today. Don't forget, 2 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv forward slash Bumpy McSquiggums, September 14th, 2022. And you guys can get a chance to win your very own copy of, of the wandering village that you can play and love and hold and sweet i can't really hold it it's going to be digital it's going to be on steam so make sure you all show up and good luck to you guys in that regard i will probably be coming back to this periodically to see any kind of updates or changes i might even do just an initial like mini series two three parts because i'd like to get a little further into the game and i know i'm going to do that in the live stream but I like to showcase this on YouTube as well, so we will see what we see. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, there will be, and always are, various links, giving you guys all that information I can get for you. Subscribe, like, share. You guys know the YouTube algorithm thing you need to do to help the channel grow and keep me around. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.